Hey guys, Ryan here, and in this video, I'm going to cover how to install and use GNOME extensions in Linux distributions. The GNOME is one of the most used desktop environments available on Linux, and many popular distributions such as Fedora and Ubuntu use it by default. You've also got the option to use it on distributions such as OpenSUSE, Manjaro, and Arch. But unlike other desktop environments such as KDE Plasma, customization is often limited. Luckily this can be expanded upon by using GNOME extensions and these can provide functionality range from tweaks to the UI, adding new features, as well as fixing annoyances and the overall user experience. GNOME extension support is not enabled by default, but the process to enable support is simple enough and all it requires you to do is install two dependencies. The first is a browser extension and then the second is a native connector package called Chrome GNOME Shell. Now this name is irrelevant as it actually works with all browsers. First we need to install the browser add-on for your browser. For Chromium based browsers you'd be using the one available in the Chrome web store and for Firefox browsers clear enough you'd be using the one in the Firefox add-ons. Now I use Chrome as my preferred browser so that is the option I'll be using but either way choose the one that's relevant for you and then continue. Next we need to install the native connection. Now for Ubuntu based distributions, you can do this with the following terminal command, which is sudo apt install chrome-gnome-shell. Alternatively, for Fedora, it would be sudo dnf install chrome-gnome-shell. And finally, if you're running a Arch based distribution, you'll be using the command sudo pacman-s space chrome-gnome-shell. Obviously, since I'm using a Ubuntu as my example, I'm going to use the sudo apt install chrome-gnome shell option. Now we've covered all the dependencies, we can actually start to install some GNOME extensions. So a GNOME extension can be installed by extensions.gnome website, and all you need to do is simply find the extension on the list that's available, open up the page that's relevant, and then click on, and then click install. Now often what you'll find is the extension will start to work straight away, but sometimes you may need to log in and out again just to start them. There's a couple of ways to manage and install GNOME extensions, but I've also found the easiest method is to use the extension application which comes when you install GNOME Tweaks. Now you can install GNOME Tweaks using a package manager, I've been using a GUI software tool such as Ubuntu software or the equivalent, or alternatively you can install it using a terminal command. If you're using a Ubuntu based distribution, you'd use the following command, which is sudo apt install gnome tweaks. For Fedora, you'd use sudo dnf install gnome tweaks. And finally, for Arch based distributions, it's sudo pacman s gnome tweaks. Once again, I'm using Ubuntu for this video, so I'll be using sudo apt install gnome tweaks. And once installed, launch the extensions application. So as you can see from here, the interface is pretty straightforward. You click on the little cog and it'll bring up options for the extension. Or alternatively, if you want to remove an extension, you can go to the arrow here and click remove. The so GNOME extensions are a great way of extending the functionality of the GNOME desktop environment without much effort. So with that, it brings this video to an end. Thanks for watching guys. And if you did find this video helpful, then please don't forget to leave a like Check out the rest of the content of the channel, and if you like what you see, don't forget to subscribe. Either way, I'll see you again soon. Bye now!